traffic. Get that B105 feeling on air, online and on your smart speaker. A house fire on Tivoli Hill Road through North Ipswich, a two-car crash on the Warrigo Highway around Ashburn Road through Dinmore, a bridge collision yesterday on the Lingfield Road overpass at Castledine has the overpass restricted to small vehicles only till further notice and the Lingfield Road southbound off-ramp from the Gympie Arterial Road has been closed. Gympie Road slow from Kedron up towards the Bruce Highway and the Gateway Northbound from Nudgee up towards the Pine River Bridge. The Red Centre is on sale at Flight Centre but hurry, there's less than one week to go. Book now and get $250 off every $1,000 spent to and C's apply. It's Chopper Dave. Another check soon on B105. Just when you thought you'd chosen your next car, meet the Kia Cerato S Automatic with wireless Apple CarPlay and a fresh new look from just 27,490 drive away. Your move. Whatever your reason for travelling, you'll get the lowest price guaranteed when you book direct at choicehotels.com. So go ahead, book it. B105 News Briefing. Mel Houston with your news briefing. From tomorrow, changes kick in for the COVID vax mandates for healthcare workers in Queensland. It means workers in private healthcare won't need to be vaxxed against COVID. The changes will impact those in both private hospitals as well as workers in primary care settings. The health minister says decisions around COVID jabs will be up to employers, but she says Queensland health workers will still be required to stay up to date with their COVID jabs, as will workers in aged and disability care facilities. A 77-year-old man has died after a tractor rolled at a private property on the Gold Coast. Emergency services were called to the Willow Vale property just before 2pm. The man suffered critical injuries and died at the scene. The federal government's highly anticipated Jobs and Skills Summit has finished for the day. Politicians, unions and other key players have gathered at Parliament House to discuss a range of issues, including wages, worker shortages and skilled migration. PM Anthony Albanese concedes the summit can't fix every issue, but he's urging everyone to work together to build a stronger economy. We have not gathered here to dig deeper trenches on the same old battlefields. Our goal, and indeed our responsibility, all of us, is to carry the the conversation to the common ground where the work is done and the progress is made. And it's the first day of spring and a new bushfire warning system has been rolled out nationally. The old one listed six categories. When the you choose Allianz four, Comprehensive Car Insurance, high, extreme and you can save on your premium by simply That's increasing your basic access. Search Allianz Car Insurance to get your quote today. Only at Dan Murphy's. T's and C's apply. Choose to drink wise. Partly cloudy skies tonight, getting down to 14 degrees and rain increasing tomorrow, heading for 23. B105's Live for Free is back paying your rent or mortgage, groceries and fuel for an entire year. Register now at b105.com.au. Still with the on southbound from Burley to Palm Beach. Northbound, running thick to Karama to Reedy Creek and busy from Wurrungaree up in the woods Narang. Now there's delays on the Smith Street Motherway westbound from Olsen Avenue to the M1 and Gold Coast Highway. Quite busy both ways around Thomas Drive in Service Paradise as well. From bars to butchers and businesses in between, stop paying FPOS fees. No terminal rental, no merchant fees. Visit smartpay.com.au. Minimum turnover and T's and C's apply. Fine and clear tonight, dropping down to 14 degrees. Fine and sunny tomorrow. Top of 20 Right now, though, it's 21 degrees. It's Adzi with more traffic soon on CFM. Right. Kia. Movement that inspires. Bianca Dye's mates at Crick's Tweed have stuck on the ground and arriving soon. CFM News Briefing. 
Preston with your news briefing. We're just hours away from the Queen's funeral. There's around 2,000 attending the service for Elizabeth II, including hundreds of heads of state. While hundreds of thousands of people are expected to line the streets of London to watch the Queen's coffin travel from Westminster Hall to Westminster Abbey, billions are tipped to tune in worldwide to watch proceedings. Back home, an alleged bikey president and six associates have been charged with more than 50 burglary weapon and drug offences. It's after the alleged theft of some firearms from a Somerset region property at the end of August. On Friday, police searched a Chambers flat home where they allegedly found firearms, as well as evidence of cannabis growth rooms and dismantled amphetamine labs. The forensic crash unit is investigating following a fatal light aircraft crash in the Western Downs region. It's believed just before 12.30, an agricultural aircraft lost altitude while crop dusting in Canada and crashed in a paddock. The pilot and sole occupant of the aircraft died at the scene. And the federal government has announced $1.4 billion to extend COVID response measures due to expire. A host of initiatives will now run until the end of the year. Health Minister Mark Butler says more than $800 million of that will go towards a range of aged care programs, which include in-facility testing. Extending the program that was due to expire next week uh, to allow PCR testing to be conducted in aged care facilities and provided within, at the most, a 24-hour turnaround. Tomorrow's car is in stock today. Take a tech drive in a Hyundai Tucson Turbo Diesel and experience innovative tech and all-wheel drive performance. The Eels are keen to keep proving the doubters wrong as the club prepares to face the Cowboys on Friday. Whoever wins the game in Townsville is off to the grand final. It would be the first time Parra has been to the big dance since 2009. Skipper Clint Gutherson says the belief is there. A lot of probably doubts from when outside voices Allianz over the, the last couple of weeks about where we're going you can and save uh, the your team premium we can be, but, by simply uh, Increasing your basic Look, access. Have that we can get, Search get past that, that second round. To get your the Panthers today. face the Bunnies on Saturday to decide the final oh. spot in the oh. NRL Grand Final. <laughs> skies tonight getting down to 14 degrees sunshine on the way again tomorrow 25 the top and showers developing on wednesday the new season of hamish and andy's remembering project podcast is now available exclusively on listener download the app and listen for free Since- before Eastlink blocking off a lane and also delays in Melbourne East due to a breakdown on Dandenong Road outbound near Chadston Shopping Centre blocking off a middle lane and we've got heavy delays through South Yarra there's road damage with Alexandra Avenue close city bound at Chapel Street and only one outbound lane is open use Turak Road instead Better is the new betting brand for sports fans with exclusive markets promotions insights and content download the app today that's better gamble responsibly they are up to date with Melbourne Melbourne's own Carrie and Tommy on 101.9 The Fox. Just when you thought you'd chosen your next car, meet the Kia Cerato S Automatic with wireless Apple CarPlay and a fresh new look from just 27,490 drive away. Your move. assist at Blooms the Chemist can give you practical tips on how to manage your mental health. For great free advice, drop into Blooms the Chemist where your health comes first. Fox News Briefing. Victoria's wet emergency. Good evening, I'm Celeste Mitsu. The significant weather event could last for weeks. For Melbourne, heavy rain is expected to pour over the next couple of hours. Diana Eady from the Weather Bureau says this rain band is making its way from the west to the east. Before moving across the eastern suburbs closer to seven. There is some indication the showers could intensify slightly as they move over the eastern areas. A number of homes along the Maribyrnong River and Pub Anglers Tavern are preparing to be inundated by water. The nearby community of Deep Creek are on flood watch. While the Goulburn River is expected to exceed floods not seen since 1970.
74. For more, head to the Vic Emergency website or download the app. The soggy conditions are also causing problems for organisers of this weekend's MotoGP. It is the first time it is returning to Phillip Island in three years. Also making news, police are hunting a trio over six alleged armed robberies across the city's east this morning. One was armed with a handgun as they targeted 7-Eleven stores in Glen Waverley, Forest Hill, Blackburn and Box Hill. Australia's first public IVF clinic is set to open at the Royal Women's Hospital next week. It will provide the first free treatment for people struggling to get pregnant. Today, the Premier announced if re-elected, he will contribute almost another $14 million. And Qantas cabin crew have threatened strike action, putting Christmas travel plans in jeopardy. The unrest comes as the when airline takes a return to profit. When you choose comprehensive car insurance, you can save your premium by simply increasing your basic access. Right now, Swim Mart, over 300 Set thousand dollars in prices to, to be won today. and also amazing Same deals on offer on visit swimmart.com.au oh, today Alex. conditions apply checking the fox cast down to 12 degrees tonight showers tomorrow 18 is the top right now in the city it is 17 degrees 12 in geelong and take the fox everywhere you go with the listener app the only place to stream carry and tommy live or on demand just when you thought you'd chosen your next car meet the kia stonic sport with SUV ride height and sweet 17-inch alloy wheels. From just 28190 drive away. Your move. For Buxton Real Estate, your partners in property. Geelong's most trusted news, Bay 93.9. Mostly clear tonight, down to 5 degrees, broadcasting on Water Run Country. Hi, I'm Chandra Llewellyn. The Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews has announced a $351 million package for flood recovery. There are currently 60 flood warnings across the state with major flooding in Shepparton. Shep Mayor Shane Sally says it's concerning that more rain is forecast later this week. We've just got to deal with what's in front of us. Uh, we hope that that won't have too much of an impact. It doesn't help to the environment and the vibe around the town that when you know, you're dealing with floods and there's more rain, we've got a huge amount of support uh, people in here assisting those in need. Uh, whatever is ahead of us, we'll get through it and we'll, we'll get out the other side. Meantime, river levels are easing along the Barwon and Moorabal rivers and there's still minor flooding in Geelong. There are reports of several blasts in the capital of Ukraine. The mayor of Kiev says several residential buildings have also been damaged. More people have been through the gates of the Royal Geelong Show this year than in 2019. Tom McCann from the Show Society says there were good crowds over the weekend enjoying the atmosphere after two years of COVID cancellations. Probably had the best fireworks display I think we've ever had. So um, we absolutely got a lot of positive feedback around that. And we also brought a few events back that uh, really reflected the farming industry. The cause of a house fire in Norlane has been investigated today. The abandoned home on Station Street was extensively damaged in the overnight blaze. Geelong detectives have gone through the scene. They're asking anyone with information to come forward. The Stars licence to operate its casino in Sydney will be suspended this week. The New South Wales Independent Casino Commission made the announcement today and Star has also been fined $100 million. And Healthy Bones Australia's celebrating 21 years of championing community awareness of bone health. Geelong disability advocate Ainsley was diagnosed with osteoporosis 10 years ago and is encouraging locals to chase up any concerns they have. It's really, really important that we look after our bones as much as possible. Baseball. When in-home care matters the most, Geelong turns to Home Instead Geelong. In the AFL, the Western Bulldogs have parted ways with Mitch Wallace. It comes after 12 seasons at the Kennel. Meantime, Stefan Martin has drawn the curtain on a decorated 15-year career, announcing his retirement from the game. Namibia has upset Sri Lanka by 55 runs in the T20 World Cup opener that was played in Geelong. Meantime, the Netherlands thumped the United Arab Emirates by three wickets at Cape Park. At the moment, the Aussies are playing in the warm-up match against India in Brisbane. Staying in cricket, Australia is yet to name their new ODI skipper in the wake of Aaron Finch's retirement. Pat Cummins suggests rotating it. You know, in a year like this, T20 becomes your focus leading to World Cup. Next year it might be different. 15 test matches in the next kind of six months. I don't think you can expect the captain to play every game just because he's the captain. He does, you know, all these other cricket in the calendar as well. 
That's the latest news and sport. Are you or a loved one using the NDIS? No single participant is the same, and the same goes for your NDIS plan. At Canny Group, we've been helping locals manage their finances for 60 years, and now with Canny Plan Management, we're well placed to help reach your goal on your NDIS plan too. At no cost to you, let us take care of your NDIS plan and manage your budgets so you can enjoy more time with your loved ones. Canny when you Plan Management, register NDIS providers. Real people, save on your of premium. Life. By simply increasing your basic access. Supplies oh, delivers rain, nice. hail, or shine. Mostly clear tonight, down to five degrees. Chance of frost in the morning tomorrow. A mostly sunny day, 21. And Wednesday, also sunny, 22. <laughs> Broadcasting on Water Run Country. Hi, I'm Chandra Llewellyn. It's been a busy day for our emergency services workers. Crews were called to Purnell Road just before 12 with reports a car crashed into a power pole in Cario. Now, call has been contacted for comment. Meantime, crews have also been called to a major accident on High Street in Belmont, Savo, just before 5 o'clock. The federal opposition plans to challenge Labor about rising electricity prices. It comes as the government promised to slash power bills by $275 a year from 2025, but the budget predicts costs will increase by at least 50% over the next two years. Shadow Treasurer Angus Taylor says Labor needs to introduce measures to drive prices down. We got, in recent years, in the lead-up to the election, electricity prices down by 8% for households. How do you do it? You get more supply into the market. More gas into the domestic network and more electricity generation, dispatchable electricity generation into the market. It worked. We got it to work. The hackers behind a cyber attack on Medibank had access to the personal data of 4 million of the health insurance customers, according to reports. The company says the number of affected people is set to grow substantially. Police are calling the behaviour of people moving signs and cutting chains that prevent cars from going into the floodwaters in Lara disturbing. Officers have been told it's happened on a number of occasions on Rennie Street. Geelong Council says it's also received reports of drivers going around the road close signs on Elko Road. And the downpour continues across the state with flash flooding hitting Melbourne's east. Lilydale received more than 40 mils of rain in just 30 minutes last night. Vanessa Radcliffe owns Lux Aesthetics in Lilydale and she says she's been wiped out. We were there till about 10 o'clock last night just trying to get as much water out as we could but it's expensive. Um, all my products and machinery and, and then for damage to the actual building, all the floor has been pulled up by the force of the water, all the floorboards have been pulled up. K-Rock Sport for lush, beautiful instant lawn. Call Cool About Turf. Superstar Tom Hawkins is set to undergo surgery on an injured foot. The Cats confirming that the forward was expected to be available to play early next season. New North Melbourne coach Alistair Clarkson will officially start at the club next week. His start date was delayed pending an investigation of racism allegations from his time at Hawthorne. Clarkson looks forward to now having a platform to reveal some truths behind recent allegations laid against him. I just need to speak to their lawyers and, and also the AFL and the club. If somewhere along the line we get the opportunity to return to work, then that would be great as well. But their priorities Sixth car and truck rental has arrived in Australia. At sixth, we go above and beyond. We call it above and beyonding. A few showers tonight down to 13, tomorrow a shower or two 18 and Friday some showers 15.
Estate Traffic. McCain Real Estate Hyde Park is now open. Sold by McCain again. The Velo Adelaide 500 is nearly here. Three nights of epic concerts, over 70 food vendors and supercars action. Buy tickets now at adelaide500.com.au. A few crashes out there at the moment, including Fulham Henley Beach Road at Tapley's Hill Road, West Croydon Torrens Road at Rosetta Street, Fitzroy Fitzroy Terrace at Torrens Road, and Plimpton Park Peckham Road at Marion Road. All those closures in place for the 500, including the City East Terrace between Angus Street and Bartels Road, and in the Parklands Fullerton Road at Wakefield Road. JB Hi-Fi's Mega Price Blitz is on now with crazy deals, like an intense switch for just 3.89 today only jb stores open till 10 tonight that's the latest adelaide traffic on 1071 safm from right kia movement that inspires safm news briefing Hi, it's Dan Fleck here with the latest. Scott Morrison's hosed down any suggestion he might resign in light of the Bell Report findings. The former PM's taken to social media to respond to the probe into his secret co-signing onto several ministerial portfolios during his time in the top job, saying any criticisms of his actions are made with the benefit of hindsight. He's also gone on to say he looks forward to continuing his work representing the electorate of Cook. The findings of the report into Scott Morrison's secret co-signing onto ministerial portfolios has been made public. Former High Court Justice Virginia Bell finding the secrecy surrounding the former PM's appointments during the height of the pandemic was corrosive of trust in government. Half a dozen recommendations have been made. PM Anthony Albanese is keen to get them implemented ASAP. A breakthrough in the search for the main suspect in the murder of Queensland woman Toya Cordingley. It's understood a 38-year-old man's been arrested in India. This accordingly was found dead near Cairns in 2018. Queensland police issued a million-dollar reward earlier this month for information leading to the arrest of the man in question. And Aussie bargain hunters are tipped to spend over $6 billion these Black Friday sales, beating Boxing Day as our biggest shopping event. More than half of the country will be looking to snag a bargain over the coming days. But Paul Zara from the Australian Retailers Association says we need to shop smart before opening our wallets. My advice always is to have a list, check it twice, do your research. The beauty about having um, digital information now is that we can research... When you choose few, Allianz Comprehensive Car Insurance, you can save deal. on your premium by simply increasing your basic... Updating Adelaide's weather, clear skies, a low of 13 tonight, warm with possible showers about tomorrow, top of 27. Join two SA faves for breakfast in 2023. Mark Soderstrom and Rebecca Morse, SAFM's Beck and Soda starts January on 1071 SAFM. On the stuff that matters, download the listener app and search KickPod. Starting to sound like a broken record. There are no delays through town in the metropolitan area. The freeways are also looking clear. Mitchell, Quinana and Graham Farmer all doing well, as is the Northbridge Tunnel. Keep in mind the Mandra Rail Line will shut down, though, from Auburn Grove to Elizabeth Key stations from Monday, December 26 until last service on Tuesday, January 3, temporarily reopening for New Year's Eve. There's no Christmas quite like yours, and Westfield is giving you more time to shop when it suits you. Jump online to check out your local Westfield Centre's opening hours and make the most of your visit. It's still and more traffic soon on Perth's home of more music and more variety, Mix 94.5. Movement that inspires. Wedding the Christmas cheer. 
is live on the listener app now. Mix 94.5 News Briefing. Hi there, Alicia McFarlane with your News Briefing. Troy Boswell has admitted to making an intimidating phone call to his ex-wife during his domestic violence trial. The former WA Treasurer pleaded guilty to the emotionally abusive call, receiving a suspended three-month jail term for the breach of bail. That's on top of the suspended eight-year jail term he received for the assault charges. The man charged for allegedly lighting five fires in Northam on Tuesday has been accused of lighting five more. The 23-year-old now accused of starting ten fires over Tuesday and Wednesday, some that burned through hectares and threatened lives. Ambulance ramping fines have been scrapped under a new deal between the state government and St John's. The new contract includes additional funding for 65 career paramedics, 31 of them to be based in regional WA. There will also be penalties for the service if it fails to meet targeted response times. Health Minister Amber Jade Sanderson says the government will work with the service to ensure it meets KPIs. The investment in extra paramedics, uh, the investment in extra ambulances, uh, and as well as those KPIs will help. St John meet those KPIs. Police are investigating after a man allegedly drove his car off the Fremantle Boat Harbour late last night. A 21-year-old Beaconsfield driver is in custody, allegedly found hiding in the water after trying to flee on a paddleboard. Briefly, when you choose has Allianz Comprehensive into a Car Insurance, $100 million you can save on your premium by simply increasing your basic access. Sunday, January so to Allianz Car Insurance to get your quote today. Or rate a detector while driving. Get caught huh. and you could lose your Allianz. license twice as fast. Perth's weather, a low of 19 tonight. Sunny tomorrow, 31's the top and a sunny Christmas day reaching 30. Right now it's 31 degrees in Glen Forest. The More Music Breakfast Show with Pete, Matt and Kimber is back January 16 on Mix 94.5.